Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I am in India and I can't tell if I'm sweating more out of excitement or the heat that's outside, but I am so excited to be here with my friend Satish at Creative Technologies. Now, this is a company that started eight years ago with one machine and two employees. Since then, they've jumped to 16 machines and over 60 employees, mainly working in the aerospace world, cutting a ton of steel and as you can see, a ton of steel on Haas machines. The original Haas machine purchased eight years ago, still zero maintenance, which is amazing. So Satish, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you very much. So let's learn a little bit more about your story. I would love to hear how you decided, I want to start a machine shop and how you got into it. It's my passion to start machine shop. I started my machine shop in 2014 with the one machine. Right now I'm with a 16 machine. It's really, really impressive, my friend. And you started it with a family member as well, right? Yes, with the family members only. I started with the, with the family members with the two employees. Right now I have with the 54 numbers of employees. That's truly, truly cool. So what has the growth been like for you at Creative Technologies? Has it always been just exciting or have there been struggles? What's it been like? Yeah, definitely it isn't exciting only. Why? Because I started with one machine and right now I'm with the 16 machines with the, so much of employees and the capital and investment and everything. I agree with that inspiration. This is your passion, as you've already yes, mentioned. Yes. You told me before we started this interview, and he's probably right, my friends. I don't know how to cut steel. You know how to cut steel, right? Yes, and you're yes. cutting hard metals even on your DT1s, which is a 30 taper machine, up to 12 millimeter in diameter for titanium. Is that correct? Yes, I cut the titanium in the DTM machines. Not one time, many times. Titanium, inconel, stainless steels, different kind of stainless steels, tool steels, everything we cut it in the DTM machines. To me, that's impressive on multiple facets. One, we're talking a BT30 spindle. Yes. I see a VF4 behind you. I see a VF2 here. I see the DT1s over here. Knowing you cut steel, but you've also said over and over again, no maintenance. These things, these Haas machines have really kept up, right? That is the beauty right? of the Haas machines. That's why we are again and again, we are buying the Haas machine and we are running the Haas machines with the zero maintenance. I bought this machine eight years ago. Eight years ago, I bought this machine, one machine right now, totally nine Haas machines only. VMC, Haas only, nine is that. Zero maintenance. So. Normally at this point in time, I would ask you what it's like to have the service and support of a company like Mana, who I know you get along with really well, but at the same time, you haven't really needed the service and support, have you? Yet they've been here when needed. See, it just depends on the maintenance of the machine with the uh, people. How we are going to use the man uh, machines and how we are going to prevent the maintenance. So I used to take preventive actions for maintenance of the machines. Preventive maintenance, say each and every four months to six months, we are doing the preventive maintenance and we were avoiding the breakage of the machines and investment for maintenance. Guys, I want to pause just for a second to remind you how important preventive maintenance is. And if this story doesn't share that to you, talking about a machine that's eight years old that's had zero maintenance and running titaniums and steels the entire time, this shows to Goya, and I know it goes goes to show you, but this shows to Goya what preventive maintenance can and do. And one more thing I wanted to add up here while selecting the tooling is very important like machine selection. Which material you are using, what is the process you are doing based on that you have to select the tools. That is also most important thing while doing the hard metal machining. I agree with you, my friend. And you also have a story talking about moving from one machine to another machine and in doing so, changing very little or nothing of the program, just moving over to your DT1, you reduced almost 50% in cycle time. Is that true? Yes, I did that. From VF2 to DT1. See, the, the machine rapid will be changed. The motion of the movement of machine will be changed. With that same, only the program, there is no change in the program. Only the machine change, I'm able to save up to at least of 35 to 40 percent of cycle, cycle time. Already we did in that. With the aluminium and all other metal, which is hard metal also, we were already tried and we succeeded in that. Impressive. And the machine behind you, the VF4, it has a uh, mist collector, it has probing, it has, you can see a Girardi angle head over there. And uh, 310 check rotary also. Absolutely. And so 
Do you find that these upgrades for your machines have been really beneficial to what you're creating? 100%. I am able to say reduce my manpower at least of 25% with that uh, facilities. Auto door system is there, WIPS is there, macro programming system is there. I can load material like anything. I can start it out in the program itself. I can run my machine without any disturbance. So would you recommend to the people watching right now, if they're going to invest in a machine like this, go ahead and invest in the upgrades too because it makes a lot of difference? Definitely. See, instead of depending on the manpower, I used to call manpower, which is unsatisfied resource. I cannot depend on that manpower. That's why I am depending on machine and technology. Always I wanted to upgrade my machines to the new technologies. Well, once we invested on the machine, it is a lifetime investment. We can earn daily. So we cannot invest time and money on manpower. We cannot depend on those things, which is unsatisfied and which is fastly movable. That seems to me words of wisdom. That comes from a man who's learned through yes. that circumstance, right? Exactly. So the last question I have for you, because I know you're busy and everyone's watching us in here, right? Yes. The last question I have before I let you get back to work, and I won't hold you to this because we're on camera, but you're buying another eight or 10 machines from Haas, right? Definitely. <laughs> right now we are booking uh, three machines at a time for DT. At a time DT, three machines we are booking and one via four and one with the five axis. Well, on behalf of MTD CNC, we wish you continued success for the next eight years, the next 50 years, the next lifetime, everything that comes your way. We wish you continued success, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much.